Euro currency ends the week down on the lows at 108 and a half. That marks it at a one month low. And a lot of that came on a stronger dollar towards the end of the week. We saw the dollar making big moves uh, over the last two and a half sessions. And again, that resulting in the euro moving down to 108 and a half. The weekly range for the euro this week was 110 and a half to 108 and a half. And we saw that 110 and a half mark earlier in the week. Obviously, it's been a slippery slope since the middle of the week. Again, seeing the euro close out the week at 108 and a half at a one month low. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, if you check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com, you'll notice that volatility started to move higher as we start to see the euro move lower faster. As we started trading in sort of that no man's land area, making new lows, volatility firmed up. And that's exactly what we saw today. Volatility ended the session higher on Friday. Lastly, let's talk about the positioning. What are speculators doing? Well, speculators were adding to their net long positions as of Tuesday. The dollar really didn't start taking off until Wednesday. So it'll be interesting to see as the dollar started to move higher and we saw the euro hitting those one month lows, how will speculators react next week? We won't get that data until next Friday from the CFTC. So the euro currency, after seeing a 108 and a half to 110 and a half range this week, ending the week on the lows as the dollar makes a big move over the last two and a half sessions.